Oh, hi. Let's draw some weights. Okay, so part of visualizing the stationary wave or the standing wave is that sometimes in exam, they will ask you to sketch what happens to the wave after a given period of time. And since we know what causes stationary wave, now I'm going to try to represent it in a drawing. Okay, so first I'm going to draw a blue wave. In not perfect, but it's okay. All right. And this blue wave, let's say, is moving in this direction. I'm going to label this one as wave one. Okay, now I'm going to use the power of copy and paste to draw a red wave. So to fulfill the conditions of standing wave, I need this red color wave to move in the opposite direction. So this red wave is going to, I'm going to label this one as wave number two. We're going to move here ah, like that. Okay. So let's draw the resultant wave. Well, zero plus zero is zero. I drew the red slightly off center, lah, okay? So you can see that there are actually two waves. But maximum plus maximum is a maximum. Zero plus zero is zero. Minimum plus minimum is double the minimum. Zero plus zero is zero. Maximum plus maximum is maximum. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So this shall be our resultant. I will join all the purple dots. All right, so the resultant will look something like this. Of course, my drawing is not as nice as the simulation. Hendro, Hendro, okay? So this is the resultant. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red color wave, right? The red color one that I've selected. And because it's moving to the left, I'm going to just yoink it to the left. See, yeah, the initial position before, after uh, I put here. But to not mess up my drawing, I am actually going to draw the wave here, like this, okay? Look at the original position of the red wave. On the first drawing, it has shifted quarter cycle to the left. So the red color wave has shifted to the left, and just to, you know, draw the continuation, I'm going to just delete this part and continue the end part like that, okay? I'll do the same thing for the blue wave. Okay, you guys. So this blue wave is going to travel to the right. So it starts off from here. And we're going to yoink it one box to the right. So this blue wave is going to be ending up here. Ah, like that. Okay, look at the first diagram. It has moved one box to the right. Okay, let's draw that now. And I will clean up the drawing a little bit here and top up on the other side. So what do you think the resultant will look like? We've discussed this in the previous video. You understand that they will actually, everything cancel. Red color positive will cancel with blue color negative here. So it's going to be zero. Everybody is zero. Okay, zero plus zero is zero. Positive blue and negative red is zero. So in fact, if I continue this story, everything will cancel out. So my resultant is actually here. Doing. All right. So this one is one plus two. Okay. Resultant. So we're going to continue the story, right? Remember? So remember this wave that was here? Now I'm going to yoink it. Okay, let's do the blue one first. So blue one, I'm going to move it. One more box like that. Okay, sorry, lah. this one couldn't come along because I drew it separately. But now it's going to be moved this way. Okay? And after moving it here, I'm going to draw it here. Okay, so this is both the blue wave after movement. If you are struggling to see, right, what I can do is I can, you know, highlight a point on the wave. Okay? Just to show the wave profile has shifted here to here. So you can see the blue is moving to the right and the red, I will have to take something from here. Red is slowly shifting to the left. Okay. But of course we know that these waves are continuous. So, you know, I'm just going to add on the part that is missing and erase the extra bits. Okay. So you can see from the red color highlight, 
and the blue color highlight sorry and the yellow color highlight highlight that the blue wave is moving to the right and the red color wave is moving to the left okay so now you probably realize that this resultant is also a maximum because they are building each other up let me draw the resultant so um zero plus zero here is zero at the origin negative negative is a bigger negative zero plus zero is zero at this point positive but positive is a bigger positive we we'll repeat for every important point on the graph to get something like this. Okay? So I think you will begin to see a pattern already, right? If I just look at this tree drawing, and if I look at the this point here, this point is an anti node. How do I know? Because if you look at the amplitude, right? Let's say this amplitude here, up here, is A. Then this amplitude here would be A plus A. This will be 2A. Which means this point here is a node. Sorry, it's an anti node. My bad. We'll label anti node. Okay, it will go to 0. And then if you look here, the next half cycle, it will go to negative A, negative 2A. So this point is your anti node. Okay. So most of the time, right, what they can do is they can say, well, at t equal to zero, the graph be looking like the first one. Time lapse. Half a cycle later. Okay. How do I know it's half a cycle? Check out this yellow dot. The difference or the time difference between here. So if I mark out the time difference hall, so I know that this is T, right? This is one period. So this one is quarter period. And this yellow, this yellow color highlight, okay, you cannot see my cursor, but this is a yellow color highlight, has moved from here to here. So this entire graph has actually shifted T over 4. That's why this time is T over 4, okay? Which means, right, the way to look at this drawing is when the time gap between the first and the second drawing is when I move this thing by one box, and one box is a quarter cycle. Okay, which brings us to here. This period or this time taken is t over 2 or 2t two over 4 because it has moved how many boxes from the origin? One box, two box. Okay, the first one has moved one box. All right. So I'll repeat the process again for the remaining boxes. So you can pause the video and try to draw. Or I guess you can wait for the final product, whichever works for you. But what I want to draw now is 3T over 4. Okay. And the next one, you guessed it, it will be 4T over 4. Ay, uh, which happens to be T. La. Teacher, if it's T or if my wave is correct, you should get back the same graph, correct? So you keep moving and see whether you get the same graph or not. And then finally, just for just to compare or just to draw an extra one just in case, I'm going to draw 5t over 4. Okay? So remember, every single graph, you know, you take the blue color wave and move it one box to the right, take the red color wave, move it one box to the left, then sketch out the resultant. I'll see you when I'm done. Go do it yourself. Ah, I draw the blue one already. So as you draw, I want you to visualize or at least sense the motion of the blue wave. You can see it's moving, transitioning to the right. I'll do it again for the red one. Okay, so I've drawn the red one. And you can see that, uh, you know, the green dot is just slowly shifting. And I'm just connecting the rest. Okay, so you can see that here, something like this, right? Did you notice a mistake? Good call. Teacher, how do you know there's a mistake? Well, you look at the first one. This one cancel, everything cancel off, right? You can tell just from the way the wave overlap. But the resultant wave is right in the middle and cancel this way. Okay? So just by looking at the first four, 
I will have maximum, cancel, maximum, cancel, maximum. That's right. This should be maximum. So the way to check, right, you know, is to just choose a point and see whether this point has been moving. So let's say I choose this point and this point is supposed to go down, go down, go down. Okay. Then this one here, go down. Nani, from this green point, why go up one? See, uh, this green point is supposed to go down. This green point actually go up there. Aiyah, uh, that means we didn't shift it correctly. Okay, so if that happens to you, don't worry. Uh, we delete, delete. Or cancel culture. Just deleting our mistakes because we can always fix what was wrong. Okay? You are not a mistake. Don't think that way. Always room for improvement. Okay, so now you see this green point. This green point is going to be here and then it has to go down. Okay, you see this part here, this green point go down. So this green point here, I'm start from here, I draw down. Okay, so once I have one section, then the rest is just making story, continuing the story. So go up, sorry, uh, my hand, old people hand. We'll go up and come down, we'll go up again. This is just developing your idea of like joining the sinusoidal curve, especially if you don't do maths, but you still do physics. So you should at least be able to draw out some basic wave shapes, okay? Even if you don't know the equation yet. All right. In this case, you will see that it builds up. So this will be maximum. And then here would be another maximum. So now I'm drawing in real time. And maximum and it's maximum. Okay, la, not so nice. Okay, I think you get the idea already. So the final one will all cancel out. So think of the purple graph. Okay, I want to show you something on Desmos. So this is a nicer picture of what we are drawing now. Okay, we are drawing this one. It's just that we draw a picture here. Okay, so we draw, we take a picture here and then we take a picture here and then we take a picture here, then here, then here. Now why is this important? Well, it hopefully helps you understand very directly that this is how stationary wave is formed. Okay, you're actually shifting and drawing the resultant. It's principle of superposition and a specific application. Number two, hopefully, if I were to remove both of the red and the blue, and I press play, you realize that this thing, if I choose the anti node, like my cursor is an anti node, this thing moving up and down is an anti node. And this point is a node. And the nodes are fixed. They don't change place. They're always at the same point. Okay? And these points are sort of important because if I bring back all of my previous friends, and then maybe I pause here so I can adjust a bit. Okay? Let's say I look at the one where I get the maximum. Oh, I try to get the maximum. Okay? Something like this. So you realize that the nodes are sort of like always here. Where my cursor is, this is a node. It'll be hard to adjust, lah. Huh? This is a node. This is a node. Okay. So this point is always zero one. You put your eye on this point and see where my cursor is. This point is always zero. This point is always maximum. Okay. So the interesting thing about stationary wave is, if you check out all the particles, the particle on the purple wave will all have different different properties. In the next video, we're going to compare them. Okay, but essentially what we are trying to do is trying to get you because doing exam, ah, we got this, hi, ah, we got simulation. So we're gonna get you how to get you to realize how to draw this and mark out important points, the nodes and the anti nodes, which I will do it after the jump, and also realize that maybe I can find values of wavelength. Don't you think? For example. Can I say that the wavelength of the purple wave and the wavelength of the red wave and the wavelength of the blue wave, they're all the same? Here to here is lambda. All right. 
So let's label, label, label. We need to label, mung label, okay? So I've labeled the anti note, okay? Anti note is here. I'm gonna make it a bit more catchy. I'm just gonna put the notes in in green. So the note is here. Okay. Normally we will label on the on the string or on the wave itself. Okay. And then this point is another anti note. And then this point is note. So if you check in on the notes, you realize that all these notes never move one. See? This first note never move, never move, still zero. I, uh, everyone around it is moving, but this note is still chilling here. Note. Okay? So being able to draw the stationary wave and identify based on the resultant wave pattern where are the notes and where are the anti notes is the purpose of today's or this particular video. Okay? And you can sing the My Chemical Romance song. Na 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 na. Okay, never mind. Anyway, it's a bit late, so I'm karaokeing now. But you get the point. So the thing is, sketch out the purple wave. Okay. So what CIE would normally do, or what is expected in the exam, is not for you to draw all the wave. What they can do is they can just, uh, given these are two waves, sketch the stationary wave, or given this wave, sketch the two waves. Or even better, sketch this wave after half a cycle. Hmm. After half a cycle, look at the maximum point. Go down. Come up. This is one cycle. Okay? So if you go down, this is half a cycle. Because down, up is one cycle. Then go down is half. Long. We'll do that in the next video. But the important thing here is for you to download this. And if you're confused, draw it out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.